Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and either are any of these blokes. Today's epic extravaganza is going to have five replays. Five replays featuring uh, five different tanks, all light tanks, and all uh, pretty epic, exciting battles. Kicking us off is my old mate Toddy. Toddy339 from 1AR Clan. Toddy, that's what his mate's calling, is in the M5 Stewart. The M5 Stewart auto-loading American light tank at Tier 4. Now, if you've been playing... Um, on the Aussie server or the Latin American server, you might be aware that there there are bots that make up the that make up the um, make up the numbers at low tiers, and uh, the Australian server is one of the servers that does it up to tier five. The bots will make up the numbers if the matchmaker doesn't have enough real tanks to put into the game. Tidy from One AR running around in the M3 Stewart. It's a five shot auto loading. American light tank. You can see he's got AP loading now. 40 alpha damage, 56 penetration with its 37 millimeter gun, uh, 78 penetration with APCR, which is premium ammunition for this tank. Now, the, some of these replays may be a little bit buggy, as mentioned in a video not too long ago. We're showing the 1.4 replays, but we're using the 1.5 client because it seems to work. And uh, so, apologies that I'm not. Uh, Organised enough to re-download the 1.4 client. I thought I had it saved. But I was wrong. Anyway, he finds a PZ2G, whatever the hell that is, at tier three. Looks German. His name's Rudolf. Randolph. Maybe he is German. Who knows? Five ones a score. Ron Fisherman's Bay and uh, uh, Toddy from 1AR Clan is uh, just farming damage into these low tier tanks. And, and also and also the pots at the lower tiers on the Aussie server. It can get pretty filthy. One of the bugs that I would like to just highlight is the auto-loading uh, bullets don't seem to be coming up. The auto-loading um, the auto-loading -load rounds, only the last one appears there. But I've counted the shots, it looks like it's a five-shot auto-loading gun. That's why the, the, the size of the gun and the, the amount of damage and penetration might seem a little bit low, because you can fire out five shots so in pretty quick time, as you can with uh, a lot of auto-loaders. And the, then the, the time to reload a full clip seems very, very fast indeed. The score is 6-3. Oh, I thought he was about to make it 7-3, but he got a couple of critical hits into the enemy M5 Stewart. M5 Stewart looks like it's a pretty groovy um, tank at tier 4. Tier 4 light tank, what can I say? Toddy's up to 1,045 damage already. A little bit blocked, 250 assisted damage. And he's looking there, he's auto-aimed on the M3 Stewart. He's looking over there, trying to get himself a second kill. 8-3 is the score. Looking at the minimap, looks like a lot of enemy tanks over here in the east. A fair few down there in the southwest, or one down there in the southwest as well. It looks like nobody's really going to go for him. He turns around, makes a little bit of a few... Oh, no, he can't really shoot him. He must be behind, so I think there's a pillbox or something down there that he may be behind. Looks like he's trying to make, a, make up his mind. Left, right, or straight. Anyway, you can see the B1. B1 is on very, very low health looking around searching sees some see those see those things break the um the walls that's the b1 puts a shot into the side of the i'm gonna, say, I'm gonna go with french heavy tank the v1 it, it looks it looks sort of french nine fours to score toddy from one ar and three kills 1226 hit points of damage finds the amx 38 starts to unload into the french tier three light and then uh, what else is there? The auto aim turns the auto aim. Look, look out, there's a bloke in your way. Waiting, waiting, waiting. 38 again. Looks like it's the predecessor to the duck, which it would be. That's the AMX 40, the duck tank, wouldn't it? And uh, it looks like it can bounce shots just like the duck tank. Duck can. Three kills to Toddy from 1ER. 10 fours to score. 50 seconds left on the cap. The BT7 is uh, looks like he's going for the cat. There's the AMX 38. He finally gets his man. That brings his kill count up to four with the score 11-4 and 40 seconds now left on that cap. It doesn't look like that BT7's going to going to move from the cap, but the, the AMX 40 uh, look on the enemy team looks like he is going to go and try to get some resets. That looks like the AMX 40 over there. Toddy waits for his gun to aim. Doesn't matter. Doesn't need to because the AMX 40 kills the BT7. And he should still soon go unspotted. Yeah, it's a. What happened there? Was that? Is he? Was he behind the? Was he behind the building? He must have got him just as he pulled behind the building. Four kills to Toddy from one of Arkland. 1476 damage done. Looking, looking, looking for the. 
Type 91 finally gets his man. That was another one of the bots taken out of the game. Like I mentioned the bots earlier, they've got Colons on each end of their um, each end of their name, and they've also got in the in the lineup. They've also got that uh, little that little square symbol next to their name. There's a Panzer 1C down there in the bushes in the southern part on the other side of the cat. The Amex 40 on Toddy's team doesn't look like they've left the base. Certainly going to be looking after artillery in that one. 13-5 the score now. Looking for what's left. An Amex 40, which might be pen might be a challenge to penetrate. And also a T40. T40 was last spotted where the M2 medium is on uh, Toddy's team in the east. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And uh, that, that AMX 40 looks like he's not going to leave at all. So it looks like everybody's going to work together and go straight for the French tank. The Chihar unfortunately gets killed. The T40 is right on the red line. Have a look at him. On the red line is um, his farm and his kills. He's, well, look, I can't really can't blame him because uh, Tony's doing exactly the same. Puts a few shots into the T40, waits for that gun to reload, and now the AMX 40 going to be his next target if they all go for him at the same time he should uh, might have a chance auto aim he does bounce the shot from the french light tank but it looks like plenty of other tanks are shooting the amx border as well and now toddy has got him from behind picks up his seventh kill confirms a win 15 to 7 on fisherman's bay and uh, let's see how he went in um, in that battle where is where's the button there it is toddy from 1a arcland in the in the M5 Stewart, the Tier 4, the Tier 4 American light tank. Let's move on to our second game, which is going to feature something a little bit higher tier than Tier 4. Ace Tank and Marshby badge from Toddy 339 from 1A Arkland. The Bruiser medal, arsonist for killing a tank by setting him on fire. The Fire for Effect, two Bonds, high caliber, and the Top Gun. Gee, you can get Bonds at Tier 4. That's fantastic if you like <laughs> If you enjoy your Tier 4 gameplay, that's absolutely Fantastic. He topped the score charts with 1,896 hit points of damage. Seven kills, 1,372 base experience. He fired 110 shots, 63 hit, and 49 penetrated. 256 assisted damage might have contributed to that ace, and it cost him 13,500 credits. That's after tax with a premium account in that seven-minute game. I didn't real. I didn't think he was. I didn't think he was. Um, firing that much premium ammunition. Maybe he was. I'm not too sure. Maybe he was. I did see him flick over the way PCR a few times. Of course, when he was going for the, the duck tank, of course, uh, that was that was APCR all day long. When you're shooting something heavily armoured. Anyway, Shell Sponge in the EBR Hotskits is next. This is the Tier 7 light tank, the French wheeled light tank. He's got his, he's got the groovy camo, the 070 camo. Look at that with the, um, I think it's got the paw prints on it somewhere or other. It's a pretty cool-looking colour scheme. I've actually put it on my Tier 10 French wheeled light tank. Now, the EBR Hotchkiss is the last French light tank that doesn't come with the um, the changeable, the drive mode, the two different drive modes. At least I don't think they do. Or maybe it does. Who knows? We'll see if he does it in this game. I don't think it does. I think it's just Tier 8 and above. Anyway, it's got a pretty groovy gun, though, for a light tank. 75mm gun, 170 alpha damage. 160 penetration with armor piercing rounds. APCR, which is premium, is 190 penetration. And of course, it's got that derp HE round. 75 pen for 260 alpha damage, which I've possibly said this more than once. And anyone who's watched me playing the um, French wheel light tanks on front lines, um, the fact that because you're so fast, the first tank that you're going to see will very, very likely be another French wheel light tank or some other kind of light tank. 35 mil is sometimes it's enough. That goes for not just this tank, but also the, the tier eight, the two tier eight versions, the, the premium and the standard for um, for front lines as well. Anyway, the score's one one. We're on airfield, and uh, this is from patch one point four. As I mentioned earlier, we are playing it on the one point five client, so there might be one or two little bugs in it. We'll see. I think I saw a few bugs in that last game. One one's the score. Um, Shell Sponge also is on a mission as he shoots the LTG. His mission is to do. 7,000 combined? That's, oh, that's the final light tank mission for the T-55A. He's on a mission to do 7,000 combined, and um, you won't get that other one. Let's have a look. 2-1 is the score. Looking towards maybe the central part of the map. Looking for looking for shots. Gets one into the T-29. Shoots him. Pulls back so he doesn't get hit by the American Tier 7 heavy tank. It is a Tier 7 game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Tier 7s on each team. And uh, the score's 2-2. Two, two. He finds the 40 TP. Shoots him once, tries to climb up 
out of the way out of his gun, shoots him again, reverses as quick as he can, he wants to try to make himself as hard as possible to hit, but it doesn't matter. He gets a kill on the 40 TP at tier 6, and uh, keeps moving though to make himself as difficult as possible to uh, to hit from those enemy tanks. He just got, he just, that was a pretty good roll, 201 into the enemy EBR, excuse me, and again, then he doesn't penetrate the P43 BIS, 3 fours of score, we're on airfield and uh, he's also on a mission to do a total of 7,000 combined that's damage done and assisted damage let's see how we go four five is the score playing around in the southern part of fisherman's bay shell sponge in the ebr hotchkiss the tier 7 french wheeled light tank just kicking back here thinking right here where are we going to make my move He's looking at the mini-map, can see that not many people there to support him, but there's no one really in the north either. Three artilleries on each team. He's just been spotted. By, it'll be by the LTG, I would imagine, unless that AT-7 has slowly started rolling around. Running around, looking for opportunities to kill these tanks. The LTG is... is Looks like he's biding his time as well. Now, Shell Spines, community contributor of Awesomosity. Check him out on uh, Twitch... Links will be down below with all the other stuff that I normally put down there. The LTG looking a little bit nervous. He shoots him once, continues to drive out of his way, gets some more assisted damage. Wiggle, 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 shoots him and kills him again. Auto aim's a wonderful thing in these light tanks. It is a little bit easier in the French wheeled light tanks to auto aim on your targets. Picks up some assisted damage, another 300 assisted damage. That'll help with his mission. Looking there towards the north, he's flying around. He's moving, he's moving that... Um, Mouse around like you wouldn't believe. 7-8 is the score. The AT-7's up there on 775 hit points. But Shellsponge knows he's going to be pretty challenging to penetrate frontally. He just wants to keep him lit for his team. He switched to high explosive ammunition. 124 more assisted damage. And then some more assisted damage. There's another artillery. They're all, all the artilleries are getting him. And did he have a shot then? Did he have a shot? He's looking there. He just... He's got, oh look at that, that's beautiful. I was in uh, I was in like this free cam mode there for a minute there. We missed the first shot and the AT is absolutely going for, uh, is going for the, uh, the AT-7 is going for the EBR Hotchkiss. Shell Sponge is uh, on an absolute mission here. Running around like he wouldn't believe. Sorry, something just popped up and we missed a little bit of action there, but he's killing it on 1,932 hit points. 1,344 assisted damage. They're still down though, down by a tank, 9 to 10. Two full of shell sponge in the EBR Hotchkiss, 2,052 damage done, 1,344 assist. Playing around here in the buildings, it's an even ball game now. There are three artilleries on the enemy team, and I know what I'll be thinking about doing around about now, and that's maybe what Shell Sponge is doing. He's switched to high explosives, and he looks like he might be going on a little bit of an arty run. No, no, he's going to go back and try and help fight these heavies. The T-34-85M may be able to kill the T-29. He might be able to beat him in that little fight. The T-29 only on 145 hit points, and uh, that's clearly going to be Shell Sponge's first target he has changed to APCR he gets the attention of the T29 but it looks like the IS-2 is going straight for the Russian medium tank Shell Sponge can't really do much until until the T29 gets killed he knows artillery will be looking his way and he is the only normal tank left in this game the T29 shoots and misses Shell Sponge doesn't and picks up his fourth kill 11 11 to score three and a half thousand damage combined for that mission for seven thousand com complex condition for seven thousand uh, damage cores including damage cores with your assistance that's a final mission the lt-15 the one for the t-55a he's, i don't think there's enough hit points left to get that mission the is2 is having a ripper as well he's on four kills there's three artilleries so i think he's i think he's the way he's thinking is well mate if i can keep this is2 spotted just let the artilleries do the work surely all three artilleries would be loaded and ready to rock and roll by now. 11-11 is the score. There's the IS-2 rolling up there, m m possibly spotted by the M44. Who knows? But he, he's got a rock between where Shell Sponge is sitting and where the IS-2 is. He's going to have to relocate, and he doesn't want to be up there fighting him. He's gonna, if he's up there fighting him, he's just going to throw his tank away. Waiting for... He wants at least two shots into him. Gets him for 120... 170... Hit points. He does get spotted, but he waits for the gun to reload. Shoots him again. Takes him down to 135 hit points, which is a one shot. Artillery sh takes an interest and shoots towards Shell Sponge. And Toast Track in the GW Panther picks up the kill of the IS-2, the top tier 
Russian heavy tank. Nice shot, says Shell Sponge in the chat. Four kills in the EBR Hotchkiss. Two and a half thousand damage done. Nearly 1,500 assisted damage. And now it's time to find <coughs> those three artilleries. He's got the HE rounds loaded. He's rolling around these corners. Checks the checks the first obvious spot. Shoots the Shoots the S51, no, 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 shoots the S51 for only 37 hit points, shoots him again, that one gets him for 270, moves out of the way so the GW Tiger can't, uh, can't hit him, the S51 shoots and misses, Shell Sponge doesn't, and that's five kills for our, our hero in, in the hot skis, five kills, all of a sudden he's on a top gun, now, the, GW Panther was on full health. He's sticking with the high explosive rounds. There's a Hummel around here somewhere as well. The last place the GW Panther, I should say, would have seen him go was 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 up in a northerly direction. Goes around. He's, he's got there. They've got the same camo. He's got the same camo. Shoots him in the back of the head. Takes him down to 64 hit points. And he knows it's... it's oh, he gets stunned. He, some, uh, one of the arties fired in his direction. He gets the kill in the top gun, though, and that just leaves one remaining Hummel. Going to take a little bit more of a scenic direction just to, to try to make sure that the Hummel doesn't think he's coming from that um, direction. You can see what he did there. He, he went purposely went a different way, thinking that, the, that he would still be lit for a few seconds and after that um, final tank, final uh, the other SPG got killed, and then uh, once he reckons he went unspotted, he turned around and went a totally different way. Where's he gone? How'd he, go? How'd he do that? Did he go over? I think he must have went over the top. But who cares? 15 to 12 is the score. Seven kills for our old mate Shell Sponge in the EBR Hotchkiss, the Tier 7 French wheeled light tank. Let's have a look at the battle result. It was an ace tank, a mastery badge for our old mate Shell Sponge. Shell Sponge, community contributor, all-round nice bloke, and a very, very good player indeed. Ace tank, a mastery badge, spot a medal for all that assisted damage that he did. The bruiser, duelist, fire for effect. He got five bonds, picked up the Dimitrius medal, high caliber, and of course the top gun for those seven kills. Tops the score charts with, uh, with those... How many kills did he end up with? Seven kills, 3,411 hit points of damage, 1,591 base experience. He fired 28 shots, 27 hit. There's nothing wrong with the accuracy of, uh, of that gun. 21 penetrated, a little bit of a, an HE damage as well, and uh, 3,500 damage done, 1,631 assisted damage. Ace tanker, cost him a couple of thousand credits though, because uh, the 40,000 for consumables. That, uh, well, he's probably run, maybe running big um, repair kits and stuff. On, um, which isn't a bad idea with the French wheel light tank. It does, um, it does get a little bit, a few crew and modular damage. That's for sure when they get hit by those other derpy, derpy guns. Don't forget to check out Shell Sponge. Don't forget to check out Shell, Shell Sponge on Twitch. Links will be down below. Before we, now we move on to game number three in this epic extravaganza. Let's see if the voice can make it all the way through five replays. This is Don War Daddy from One Clan. Don War Daddy from One Clan. I think he's in Daddy Clan now. Or is he or was he? I can't remember. Anyway, he's in the Panhard AML Lynx 6x6. Let's just call it the Lynx. This is the um, this is the standard version, the standard tier 8 version, not the premium. This is the standard version, which um, comes with APCR as standard and premium ammunition. Standard ammunition is a 90mm gun, 240 Alpha damage, 182 penetration, 223 with premium ammunition, which is also APCR. And it, again, it's got those, it's got those derpy HE rounds, 320 alpha damage for 90 millimeters of penetration. As mentioned earlier, handy for coming up against uh, other French wheel light tanks, but also if you get behind things like Scorpion Gs, um, the SU-130 PMs, any kind of artillery, you're going to get that extra uh, amount of, of. Um, Alpha damage if you if you can manage to penetrate into something lightly armoured, such as the turret of the Scorpion G or the Scorpion, also the um, any any light tank. He's running around the middle of fjords now, looking for some cheeky spots. He has been spotted, but I don't think he cares. He's, this is where he's got the the wheels are up in the air. The wheels are up in the air, and um, he's going as fast as fast as he can. 80 kilometers an hour, finds his targets, finds heaps of targets, look at all these tank destroyers, clearly, clearly he's had a look at, uh, there's his first kill of the day, 850 damage done, 1500 assisted damage in that little, um, 
or would you call it a kamikaze run? I don't know. We spotted a lot of tanks there. We'll see that. In, we'll see it in the battle results towards the end of the game. He spotted the uh, he spotted the well the Scorpion G that he killed. We also spotted the ICU 152, a Striv, another Scorpion, and these are the kind of some of those are the kind of tanks where those HE rounds will really pump through those um, that 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 light turret armor that that like the SU 130 PM and the Scorpion G. Cops a few damaging shots though. Canaban Action X and the ISM. That hurt. That's 600 hit points. He only started with 920. He's down to 302 hit points. Going for another spotting run. Looking for all these campers on Fjords. Finds a Scorpion G again. This time the Scorpion G comes after him. Looking for what he thinks might be an easy kill. He shoots a Scorpion G once. A Scorpion G shoots puts one into the dirt. He shoots the Scorpion G again, bringing his damage up to 1,523 hit points. He runs around the face, almost just taunting, taunting his opposition and soaking up more and more assisted damage as he goes through, up to 3,401 assisted damage. He's rolling around the cap just to try to, I don't know, is he just trying to piss off <laughs> piss off the opposition? I'm not sure. 4-2 is the score. They're winning by two tanks. He doesn't want to throw his tank away. If he gets killed now, it, um, that could be the beginning of the end for him and his team. 5-2 the score now as the 65T gets taken out by the TS-5. There's um, nobody on D Don Wardaddy's team up here in the northeast. He's looking for that SU-152 again. He has. He's found him. Where is he? There he is. He does. He almost flips. Shoots. I don't think he missed. I don't think he hit anything. He got a little bit of assisted damage. But um, I think this is one of those tanks goes just as fast backwards as it does forward so he just keeps maneuvering staying away from that big russian derpy gun you can see which way that russian gun's aiming pops him in the side picks up kill number three and brings his damage up to 1871 hit points 3756 assisted damage and don war daddy from one clan in the six links six by six tier eight french wheeled light tank let's see if we can make it go faster up a hill Tap the forward button, and there you go, Stewie. He's going to go faster up towards the waterfall. Don't fall in the drink. Going to come around the corner looking for rear shots into the back of the TS-5. Premium American Tier 8. Tank destroyer, and of course that ISM, which uh, that'll be the ISM that shot him earlier on. There's a Progetto 46, though. That shot just goes a little bit low. Switches to HG again. It's an interesting choice for Progetto 46. I reckon... Might, that might be a little bit hard, but you, why not go for the HE memes? Is that is that is that a fair analogy? Shoots him and just clips him for 123 hit points into the Italian Tier 8 auto reloading premium medium tank. Misses that last shot and um, yeah, missed down a little bit of damage there, I think. But um, looks like he's having a good time, and that's the main thing. 11 threes to score, just four enemy tanks remaining. Two in the south and two right here where Don Wardaddy is. He does get spotted. He starts going through the bushes, shoots and kills the TS-5 premium American non-turreted tank destroyer, the one that came out not too long ago. That ISM, is he still full health? GG Lynx says the Super Pershing. The Super Pershing is uh, is in the puddle in the middle of the map. There's the, um, the ISM did turn and look towards which way Don Wardaddy was facing. Don Wardaddy says... Oh yeah, I'll just take another 275 hit points. The ISM shoots and misses again. Now this ISM, he was on full health a minute ago. He was full health from the drive, from the base, all the way around there. Didn't, didn't get much. Um, didn't get much opposition. 14 to 5 is the score. The ISU 152 on Don Wardaddy's team starts picking this peninsula down here in the southeast, saying this is where the Lorraine 40 ton is. If he's there, that's going to be so sad. That is going to be so sad indeed. 14-5 is the score. Don War Daddy from one clan. In the Lynx 6x6, six six, the uh, the Tech Tree version of the... Um, it, oh, he's picking everywhere, this bloke. Could be anywhere. There's a Lorraine. I don't think he's going to get to him in time. He's playing like a tank destroyer. The Lorraine 40 ton. 14-5 is the score. 2,785 damage done. He goes for the big jump. Just about nailed it. And let's not forget about that assisted damage. Nearly 4,000 assisted damage. Not a bad result for Don Wardaddy, STY, from one clan. In the Panard AML, Lynx 6x6, a.k.a. the Lynx. Let's have a look at the result before we move on to our penultimate replay in 
today's epic extravaganza. That was an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge from the old mate Don War Daddy Sty from One Clan. I thought he was in Daddy Clan. I'm not sure why. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, spot a medal for all that assisted damage that he did. Demolition, demolition expert for blowing the head off a tank and knocking its ammo rack out of the game. Fighter medal for getting, uh, for getting those kills. And, of course, you also got the fire for effects. Not too bad at all. 2,785 damage done. Four kills, 1422 base experience. You fired 15 shots, 11 hit, 10 penetrated, 2,785 damage done, 3,756 assists. You even made some credits there, nearly 26,000 credits with a premium account. That's not a premium tank, folks. That's just a normal uh, Tech Tree T8 French wheeled light tank. Action for Stewie. Love it. Love it when I see epic in-game um, titles such as that. Let's move on to our second last replay of today's video. And this is the old mate Ziggy. Ziggy Echo. Ziggo Echo. <laughs> uh, this is when he was in 1AR clan. He's in 1AR M now I believe. Ziggy Echo is a is a streamer as well. Check him out on Twitch and you'll see some pretty groovy stuff there. This is the EBR90. The EBR90 is a, it's a, I was talking to him not long ago. He said that maybe I'll wouldn't mind buying it. Now, he's gone in the fast mode. See, the wheels are up a little bit. He's gone in the fast mode. He's on Prokhorovka. This is a, this is a map for the light tanks, folks. Folks, that's for sure. The LT432. It's just... See, can you try and spot the 1290? I think it means... Probably means the 13 now. And... Um, <laughs> not sure... Not sure what he was talking about. But anyway, Ziggy Echo. Check him out on Twitch. Link down below. Twitch and YouTube. Link will be down there for sure. Down where I put all the other stuff. Looking for the old TB. Gets him. Gets him once. Auto aims and gets him once. The good thing about these light tanks, or one good thing about these uh, light tanks, is that you can um, you don't have to click right on the enemy tanks to auto aim. And that's pretty handy when you're zooming around. At uh, what's he doing now? He's doing 80 kilometres an hour in the EBR 90, the Tier 9 French. Wheeled light tank, AP rounds for standard ammunition, 240 alpha damage. It's a 90 millimeter gun, that's where it gets its name from, the EBR 90. 240 alpha, 185 penetration. Premium is 230 penetration, which is heat, and yet again, it's got that 320 alpha damage, 90 penetration, HE rounds. It's a little bit derpy, and um, not, too, not too bad at all. One zip is the score, and he's doing what I would call surfing the middle ridge line. He's on Prokhorovka. It's a light tank map. The LT-432, is, uh, he's found that bush over at E1 that everybody goes for in a light tank. But if you want to do if you want to do jumps and wheelies and uh, have a little bit of fun in your French wheel light tank, the middle of the map is a place to do it. This is, I reckon, I, think he's, I know him pretty well. I reckon he's looking at those ridge lines saying, I reckon I could do a jump over them. Runs down. He got down, he got down pretty... He got pretty aggressive there. He didn't get spotted. Uh, didn't get fired at either. In the middle. Looks like he's going to try the next ridge line. Auto aims onto the IS-3. Shoots and misses. He does get spotted that time. And he would have been spotted there because he fired. Finds a couple of red line campers. Have a look at that. The Progetto 65 and the T-54 E-1. Wow. At least Ziggy would be saying, oh, well, you're a beauty. At least I'm glad I'm getting some... Um, I'm glad I'm getting some... Um, I'm glad I'm getting some assisted damage. You'll be saying thank you very much. Get puts a shot into the Progetto 46. That sounds like a mission. He's on a list. LT3, the pursuit for the Object 260. He needs to do damage six times. He also needs to spot six enemy tanks. I'm not sure how many tanks he's spotted. Let's see how he goes. 1-1 one, one is the score. It looks like he's already spotted three enemy tanks. Looking for, looking for his turret, I think. The turret was angled a little bit better than we thought. Two ones to score. Ziggy Echo. 27. Hell of a nice guy. All around nice guy. And a very funny man in real life as well. Looking at, there's the Mouskin again. Looking for the, just waiting for that reticle to go. Went a bit orange there. It's still red. It's going to be, it's going to be challenging to penetrate, penetrate the Mouskin with an armor piercing round. Um, but it looks like artillery's got a little bit of attention on the tier 9 German heavy tank. There are three artilleries on Ziggy's team. Only two on the enemy team. And Ziggy's making the most of that, spotting these tanks and getting the benefit out of this um, pretty dank assisted damage. He's auto aimed onto the Mouskin. The LT-432 is having a little bit of trouble with the Mouskin. The Mouskin's having a little bit of trouble with the LT-432 as well. He's um, went for the auto aim on the Lorraine 155-51 from the Mouskin. But uh, what happened to, the, what happened to the, the light tank? Did he did he survive? 
He's still there. The LT432, of course he's still there. The Mousen got killed by the T26E5 over here in the middle. And um, he's, uh, he's, got, he's, up to, he's up to four kills as well. Rolling up to the middle of the map now. The Carnarvon Action X shoots him. Gets some uh, assisted damage. Gets some track damage on the Carnarvon. Gets even more assisted damage. Up to over 3,000. Over 3,000 hit points of assisted damage. He's got five. He's got the five, five damaging shots. I'm not sure he's going to be able to spot three more tanks because I think everything else is just about spotted. There might be one more artillery. Certainly hasn't been spotted. Maybe there might be one more. You never know. Let's see how he goes as he crests this ridge line. He should spot a few there. There's a couple. So he's spotted five tanks. He's got he's got the amount of damaging shots. Lee, he's got the he got he's got the mission. He spotted that striv back here sitting on the railway line. Oh no, he didn't. He's still got one more tank to spot. I don't think he can. I think they've all been spotted. Anyway, who cares about the mission? Ziggy from 1AR Clan in the EBR 90. He's up to 1,408 damage, 4,609 assisted damage. Looking at that IS3, thinking I wouldn't mind a little bit of uh, a little bit of that action. He just wants to. He's, look at that. He's auto aimed, and if he goes past, if he goes past the railway line, he can't get it. Auto aims on the JP-105, doesn't quite get the shot. Doesn't want to go straight in front of the strip. That's what he's thinking. He's sitting here going, I don't have that strip to shoot me because I can't see him anymore. Still get some more assist. Up to nearly 5,000 assisted damage now. That should be another 338. It is. He shoots the IS-3A again. IS-3A, IS-3. The JP gets killed and that just leaves three tanks. The T-54E1, auto-loading American Tier 9 heavy tank. The strip, which he's just popped one into, and of course the FV-3805. There's the FV-3805. Doesn't quite. Wobbly wheel, wobbly wheel. Look out, he's got the wobbly wheel. That's what happens when they shoot your tyres out. You get the wobbly wheel, and the wobbly wheel goes like a shopping trolley. And I always, I always well, sometimes I shit myself when that happens. Um because it can be a little bit unnerving not a bad battle not a bad battle at all for me old mate ziggy <laughs> ziggy echo he's got a he's a man of many talents very funny man very nice person as well and i highly recommend you check him out on uh, twitch and youtube and all that kind of stuff uh links will be down the bottom ace not an ace of the first class mastery badge spotter medal bruiser Fire for effect, a bond for the Confederate medal. Top score, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Twelve hundred and seventy-eight base experience. That's that's an ace. That should that should count as an ace, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, that should count as an ace. Normally, you get aces around around about twelve hundred. Sometimes as, some tanks as low as a thousand. That's funny. It goes by it goes by um, how other people do as well. Eighteen hundred and sixty-three damage done. Uh, 1273 base experience, like we uh, like we mentioned. Uh, he also fired 18 shots, 14 hit, only eight penned, but there was some HG in there as well. 5,764 assisted damage though. That's where he got that score. I reckon when he was on that ridge, trying to shoot the uh, was it the IS3 and the KJ105 on the on the hill, and yeah, maybe got one or two shots into them. That when he was trying to when he was you know with the, where the reticle was going too high with the railway line. I reckon that would have been an ace, no problems at all. Made 12,500 credits, that's after tax, with a premium account. Once again, standard tank, not a premium tank, so you don't get that uh, multiply of your credits, but not a bad game, not a bad game at all from the old mate Ziggy. The EBR90, let's move on to our fifth and final replay. This is Zulu Warrior. <clears throat> Zulu Warrior, this time in the LT432. Some people call him Crazy B, or Crazy B, that's um, but uh, now he's called himself Zulu, Zulu Warrior from Yeti Clan, and uh, he's no dummy at all. He knows how to play this tank. He's in the premium tier eight Russian light tank, the LT432. Playing around on the hill on the tundra, plenty of tanks there. Have a look at that. There's millions. Thirsty work doing this. You already got uh, 396 damage off into the T55A and the T44. Some assisted damage there as well. Just biding his time the t55a on 86 hit points he wants to he wants to get rid of it there you go he gets rid gets his first kill what's his mission his mission is to do oh he wants to get an ace to get this uh, union 15 for the excalibur with honors so if he gets one more race in this tank he'll um he'll get he'll get this with honors and uh, he'll get one of those valuable orders he get those orders for the missions so he can use those orders to skip to skip missions that um 
that might be uh, like tanks for, or, or you might be really having a lot of trouble with a particular mission, like I often do. This, that's Daenerys from Game of Thrones. That's who he's shooting in the IS-3, Daenerys, that's really. Anyway, one freezer score, so he teams in a little bit of damage. The um, D20 <laughs> Slav King, he's not too happy there, he's picking the map like a madman. Um, saying, boys, have a look at the map, there's a million tanks over there. What are we doing? Why are we shooting? There's a million tanks over there. Look at the west, the west is just getting overrun by overrun by Zulu's Warriors team. They're just smashing it. The Object 257, the Oho, the T95, the Standard Beast, they're smashing the western part of this map. Looks like they're only being held up by three tanks. The LT-422, the Prototype, and the Object 257. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Zulu Warrior from Yeti Clan in the LT-422. He's on the hill, and he's, I reckon he's owning this hill. When you've, he's, he's surrounded, though. It's like a cowboy movie. He's in, he's in the... He's, he's got the wagons all in a circle, and he's up here. He's, he's got the wagons in a circle pretty comfortably, but he's surrounded by Indians. 3-4 is the score. He's got the HE loaded for the Waffle Trager, Ralph Bands at 4. 300 alpha damage, 44 penetration. He's worried. He's looking at the direction of the Waffle Trager, Ralph Bands at 4's gun. It looks like he's aiming to Zulu's left, um, but now he keeps turning back. Zulu's not sure if he's spotted or not. He, wants, he's, he knows he's going to have to dip his tank down a little bit to get a shot onto the Waffle Trigger Fancy Ford's turret. He wants that 300 damage. I don't think he's going to get his... Oh, he might get it. He's thinking about it. 300 alpha damage. 444 uh, penetration. That's with HE. Standard rounds. Which one's standard? Standard is APCR. This, this is the kind of thing that confuses me. Standard is APCR. 85 millimeter gun. 180 alpha damage. 176 penetration. 218 penetration with premium, which is AP, which is the opposite to how a lot of tanks normally um, normally go. 3 fours is the score. He's just kicking back here on the hill. Like I said earlier, his wagons are all in place. He's got the hill, but he's surrounded. He wants to be, wants to be very, very careful. He doesn't want to throw his health away. He doesn't want that Waffen Traeger Ralph Panzer IV to shoot him. That's the main thing. I think it, that it must have already fired once. He shoots him. The M103 confirms the kill. Now we're even again. We're even four apiece. It was 1-4. Not too long ago. At least I think it was 1-4. Might have been 1-3. He's looking there. He's looking at the... Looking at this way down. Gingerly going down the hill. Doesn't want to be that guy that goes down the hill and goes upside down. That guy is sometimes known as Stewie JP. But oh, look, I'm not the only one that does it. We all know people who do that. 4-4 four, four is the score on Tundra. Zulu Warrior from Yeti Clan in the LT-432. He's up to 1,500 damage, 300 assist. What's he doing now? Looks like he's looks like he's trying to think for a little while. Looks like he's just trying to make a decision. Looking at the mini-map, his, his team are doing very, very well in the central and the western part, but they're sort of held up in the east. There's a T-30 up there in the northeast corner, which is going to really punish anyone who attacks from that eastern hill. The Object 257's up here on full health. He, he's going to want some of this damage. Finds the VK-4502A. So, well, might as well farm a little bit of damage there. Shoots him once for 167 hit points. Not the highest roll in the wall in the in the world. You can see he's switched to AP rounds, which is premium on this tank. The kind of thing which, that's the kind of thing which um, confuses me at times. But uh, never mind. He's got he's got extra combat rations here running as a premium consumable. He's also going for large repair and large first aid kits. I highly recommend that on a light tank. Sort of the kind of thing I'm starting to realise as I enjoy light tanks a little bit more. Um, there you go, something big just hit the 257. 257 did fire. I think I think he's lost his chance to go forward and put a shot through. He can now because the 257 is aiming in a different direction. The 257 kills the T30 and throws um, him, aka Zulu Warrior. Should be able to get two shots in before he reloads. No problems whatsoever. That's his second kill in this game. He scores 8-5. Yeah, with a little bit of help from his friends, he's smashed that northwestern corner. All oh, right, he's found he's found the M40, M44. He's found the artillery. Auto aim shoots him once, flicks to HE, and it looks like that uh, artillery piece. Just, well, he hasn't given up. He was tracked. Good on him for not giving up. Good on him for not being too close to the water. 10-5 is the score. Zulu Warrior from Yeti Clan, formerly known as Crazy. But and his mates call him Crazy B. 10-5, three kills, 2,391 damage, 312 assist, looking towards the VK-4502. Shoots him for 189 hit points. The standard B goes down to the enemy standard B, and the VK is going to prove to be a very, very nice opportunity 
for for him to farm a little bit of damage. He thinks, hey, why is he aiming my way? He was just spotted. He got spotted, dropped a shot for 253 from the German Tier 8 Heavy Tank. Rolling around 10-7 to score. They haven't won this yet. They certainly have not won this game yet. 11-7 now is looking a little bit better. Kicking back here behind the dead T28 prototype. Now he's going to use the undulations in the land down here to um, try to have a little bit of cover from these enemy tanks. Of course, you know what heavy tanks are like. When they see a light tank, they think, oh, yeah, there's an easy, easy shot. No problems. 27.51 damage done so far. He bounces the VK45 02A. Looking for the polar shot. Gets it. Or top of the turret anyway for seven takes him down to 760. Another 153 takes him down to 608. He cops a damaging chop for 247, but who cares? He's still got 380 hit points up his sleeve. Shoots him again, but brings his damage up to 3,443. He's thinking a few more of these and I'll get me ace. I'll get the ace that I've always wanted and um, be able to finish this mission with honours and send the replay to Stewie JP at Get On Board Studios. The standard B up there on 1,300 hit points. And I know what Zulu will worry, he'll be thinking, I'll take some of those 1300 hit points, no problems whatsoever. There is an SU 130PM up there as well, though, the Hapas 1, the turreted Russian premium tank destroyer, the one that came out not too long ago, the one that so many people called the, the Russian Scorpion G. 13 8 is the score, though, 3700 or just under 3700 hit points of damage. He's just creeping towards these enemy tanks. The standard B, that standard B will have. Um, We'll have a half-decent view range. He's imploring his teammates to, to come forward, boys. Get ready to shoot this guy. You can, I, can, I just saw which way that gun was aiming, and it's not aiming in crazy beads. Right. There's a T-95. The T-95 is just going to roll forward and say, I'll have you, boys. I'll have you, boys. No problem whatsoever. Crazy V. Zulu Warrior is going to protect the flanks of the T-95 just in case they drive past him. The T-95 says, no worries, Standard B. You are mine. Uh, one of his teammates crashed, and uh, here comes the SU 130PM. Zulu Warrior from Yeti takes his fifth kill, confirms the win, takes a little bow, and says thank you very much. Let's have a look at the final results of today's uh, epic extravaganza five replays in one video. All light tanks, hope you enjoyed it. That was Zulu Warrior. He streams on Twitch as well. Links will be down below. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Bruiser Metal, Fighter, Fire for Effect, three bonds, all X Metal, nearly 4K damage, five kills, 1460 base experience. He fired 30 shots, 25 hit, 24 penetrated, a little bit of assist, Ace Tanker, and he even made some credits, 16,074 credits, with a premium account after tax in that nine and a half minute game. Wow, epic extravaganzas. They really do take it out of me sometimes. Hope they didn't stuff too much of it up. Massive thanks to everyone who sent replays in today. Zulu Warrior, check him out on Twitch in the LT432. Ziggy, my old mate Ziggy. Ziggy does tanks on uh, Twitch as well. Check out the links down below. Don War Daddy from, St from One Clan. Shell Sponge, also a community contributor. All around nice guy and a hell of a good player. Um, he, his links will be down there below as well. And Toddy from 1AR and the filthy little tier 4 American light. Thanks again for the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time. Wow, they do kill me a little bit, the epic extravagances, but we'll get there. We'll get there. No problems whatsoever. We'll, um, like I said earlier, the replays are being played on the 1.5 client, so they might look a little bit funny, such as Toddy's, um, what do you call it? The autoloader shell indicator, um, and maybe a few other things as well. But uh, look, we'll do the best we can. Thank you very much again, and uh, don't forget to check us out on Discord, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Links down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, don't forget to say hello next time you see me. Take care again. Bye.